Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, my people. Wake up, my people. To the descendants of the slave trade, it is time for you to wake up. It is time for you to wake up. It is time for you to wake up. So I was able to collect a group of videos that um, pretty much some shorts that was on TikTok that I brought together to make one video to let our people know that the other nations are letting us know who we are. Our own people are letting us know who we are. And it is time for us to accept the fact that we are the children of Israel. We are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob chosen nation. We are his people. We are the apple of his eye. So let's go. We're going to start off with Romans 3 and 3 and 4. Romans 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? So what if you don't believe that you are the children of Israel? Would that make the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob without effect? Would that make what he's going to do in the planet when he come back and retrieve his people the exact same way he retrieved us under Pharaoh through Moses? Would that make that non-effect? No, not at all. Romans 3 and 4, God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou as mightest be justified in thou saying, and mightest overcome thou art judged. So we're going to allow the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob words to be true, and every man a liar. We're going to listen to what these people are telling you, that you are the children of Israel. I mean, I found some great videos. I really liked them, and I hope you enjoy. Shalom to the descendants of the slave trade who are the children of Israel. Enjoy. Uh, a lot is, what's fascinating is, which I speak about, is the transatlantic slave trade. Uh, a lot is the transatlantic slave trade. Uh, a, a large percentage of it actually came from Igbo territory. So these Igbo today in Nigeria were practicing Jews, numbering the 40 million people with customs and traditions, doing circumcision on the eighth day, were the same exact, the same exact people brought to the Americas. The same exact people were the same exact people brought to the Americas on the transatlantic slave trade. Now, if someone goes to Times Square in New York today, you'll see, uh, you know, African Americans dressed in Israelite outfits and yelling at people, saying, "You're not the real Jews. We're the real Jews." Uh, and so, most people saying, "Well, you guys are kooky. You just made this whole thing up. You made up a religion and an identity." Actually, no. They are the blood descendants, most likely. Of they are the blood descendants, most likely. Of they are the blood descendants, most likely, of the people who from Israel were brought from Africa to America. So it's very. I'm gonna be real. It's a prophecy that's being fulfilled right now as we speak. Isaiah 52 and 6 says, In that day, my people will know my name, and they will know that it is I that doth speak. As simple as that sounds, let's break that down. In that day, my people. Not the whole world. My people. In that day, my people will know my name. So I have to assume prior to that day, they didn't know his name. Before I've concluded, his people will know his name, not the world, his people. For them to know it in that day, that means prior to, they didn't. And the last part, he says, they will know it is I that doth speak. And from that, I conclude that he has been speaking, but now you're going to know who's been speaking. See, this right here is the main reason why when knowledge increases, you must increase with it. If he revealed his name to you, you shouldn't proceed to call him something else. He's trying to be on a first name basis with you. But of course, people you know, exalt the traditions of men over what the Most High is conveying at, the t at this time. But it's okay, because like he said, my people will know my name. Shalom. You're hurt. Your pain cannot be healed. Because you have much guilt and have done many sins, I have done these things to you. But all who destroy you will be destroyed. Every one of those who hate you will be taken away against their will. Those who rob you will be robbed and all who hurt you will be hurt. For I will heal you. I will heal you where you have been hurt, says the Lord, because they have said that you are not wanted. 
They have said, It is Zion. No one cares for her. The Lord says, I will bring the tents of Jacob back from Babylon, and will have pity on his houses. The city will be built up again on its broken walls, and the king's house will stand where it used to be. The people who live there will give much thanks and happy voices will be heard. And I will add to their numbers. They will not be made less. I will honor them, and they will be important. Their children will be as they were before. They will be a strong people before me. And I will punish all those who make it hard for them. Their leader will be one of them. Their ruler will come from among them. I will bring him near, and he will come close to me. For who would have the strength of heart to come near me on his own, says the Lord. And you will be my people, and I will be your God. Jewish teenager from the U.S. recently traveled to Israel, and what he discovered about his ancestry challenged his long-held beliefs. I will never forget the first time I went to Israel, and I stepped off the plane, and the first thing that anyone said to me was, Welcome home. Every single person who's Jewish that steps off the plane, especially for their first time in Israel, is told welcome home. So to unravel the mystery behind his background, this guy takes a DNA test. And guess what? Turns out he's 88% Ashkenazi Jewish, tracing his roots all the way back to Eastern Europe. This shakes up the whole idea that being Jewish is all about Israel. This right here, this is my actual ancestry. I am 88% Ashkenazi Jewish, and none of my ancestors are from the Middle East. The land that is called Israel now is not my home. It's not my ancestors' home. It's Palestine. Hey, so-called black men. These bones been dry for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Paul's a white person. You ain't gonna have Moses be able to walk right or be carried right into the house of Pharaoh and pass as one of his sons if he's a white baby. It ain't gonna happen. So let's just get to the bottom line here, okay? They're brown skinned people. Simple. But then you got the Christians out here that they've went and the Catholics had changed that. They whitewashed the whole thing. And then you got people who are supposed to be getting back to the book, back to the truth. They're still trying to whitewash it. It is the law. The law is the word of God. Pay attention now. <laughs> Galatians 3 and 2. This only would I learn of you. Receive ye the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. See, the Christians read this all the time. Receive ye the spirit by the works of the law. We're going to show you what the works of the law were. Just pay attention to the verse. Let's read it again. This what I learn of you, only what I have learned of you. Receive you the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. So let's take a look at the hearing of faith. Book of Romans 10, 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Ah, so what Paul is saying is faith cometh by hearing the word of God. Faith came by hearing the word of God. So what is the word of God? I want you to pay attention. Let's flip on back. 
to John 10, 34. The Messiah answered them, is it not written in your law? In your law said ye are gods. And if he called them gods unto whom the word of God came, the law was the word of God. These Christians, there's no other word of God 